YouTube. Welcome to my channel. This is All Things Low, uh, where we talk about lifestyle, baby, beauty, uh, family, relationships. I don't know, whatever really comes to my mind, whatever you guys really like to see. Please stay tuned on watching my Get Ready With Me. I have a quick get ready that I usually do. Typically it would take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, but probably most video will be around 30 to Oh my gosh, I hope I don't go to like a 45 minute video and I'll show you how it's done. So, see you in a second. <laughs> we have just been joined by my little pooch, Jax. So if you see him in and out, that's where he is. That's him. We're going to first start off with, I mix both um, a moisturizer. I have the Tula 24 hour, 24 seven moisturizer. And this is like worn to the bottom, but it is the Dermalogica um, Solar Defense Booster, an SPF 50. So I'm just gonna put a little on the back of my hand, a little combo of it. Barely any, but that's okay because the foundation I have also has SPF. I haven't been in the sun too much, but living in Tampa, it's hard to avoid it. So I'm just gonna put it in between my fingers. Just get the areas that I feel the most dry in. I don't know if it's because I'm in out of my first trimester into my second but my skin has been so 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 dry notice my face will get really really oily if I use a primer throughout the day so I actually just moisturize and then I immediately add foundation right after I mix I'm a mixer but I mix the luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani in 7.8 and the CC Cream, it has a 50 um, SPF in it um, by IT Cosmetics. So I'll mix both of these for like the perfect shade. This is just my light, again, um, quick makeup routine. I don't know how quick I'm gonna film it, but if I was rushing, I could do this in like 10 minutes. Wow. No, I'm giving myself too much credit. I'm probably doing it in like 15. But this is like my, oh my gosh, I have to hurry up and run somewhere or I don't want to look crazy. Right now, I kind of let that go into my face and I'll move on to my um, highlighter, push that in. And so I use, again, I'm a mixer. I use the Tarte Ultra Creamy Foundation in light medium. This is lighter than my um, medium to ginger by NARS. With the NARS one, I'll go right under my eyes. I'll go right above this area here, right here, under my, over my cupid's bow, or under, and then under my chin. And then I will go in with the tart, and I'm gonna go into it with the highest little highlight there, just so it like lifts my face blend it out with my beauty blender I'm gonna do the darker areas first so the one that I use my NARS in and bring that up to the front of my eye and then I'll do my nose and my keep bow and this I kind of leave in I don't know if you can see it yeah you can so I kind of don't blend that all the way in I don't want that blended in just so it snatches extra yeah, so see, and that is how I blend my highlighter part of it. So before I do my eyes, I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty um, Butter Pro Filter Setting Powder. And I don't use the Beauty Blender for this or a brush. Like I use, I think I got this from the Tarte um, Foundation, but I'll put a little bit at the cap and then I'll push it in. So see. And then I'll get around my nose area. I'm still gonna cream contour, but I like to let this sit into my face. I don't know how long I'll ever wear my makeup, so it's just better to be safe than sorry. Down my nose. On my cupid though. Now we are gonna get into the brows. I have my brows micro shaded, bladed. I got them done so long ago probably when um, they still didn't know what they were doing. And 
I got like the actual tattoo gun. So these kind of have grayed out. There's some areas that are just really light that didn't take. Um, so regardless, I always have to wear powder or product in my brow. So um, we're gonna go in first. Well, I brush them up first. Not that that makes a difference because I have bone straight Asian hair. Thanks, mom. <laughs> um, sometimes I'll use a brow gel, but that's like if I'm going out. Again, this is supposed to be quick. I don't know how quick it is. I look crazy with all this powder on my face. I'm just gonna take the liner and I don't go all the way to the front of my brow. I kind of go, I kind of leave the top bare so I can blend it through. And I create like a easy dark bottom so I can bring it up. Leave the tip out. And then sometimes I'll do some hair strokes in there. Like see where these little things didn't take. And again, we're going to brush this all out. Kind of gave me a brow. Same thing on the front, on the other side. I'm not going to bring it all the way to the front, just a little bit, and then we'll brush all this product through my brow. I take this brush. It is an Anastasia, like, double-sided powder brush or brow brush. And I just brush that product so I don't get any harsh lines. So I do have the outline, which I am thankful for, because it probably is so much faster in doing my brows since I have that outline, but I mean, I could get them removed and redone, but I don't know. Who wants to go through that pain? And I can't go through that pain right now anyways. And then lastly, for my brows, I'm going to put in worn down to the bottom too. It is the same product as this Benefit but it's the brow gel and I could tell you what color it is if I didn't scratch everything all off so I'll just kind of brush them in place sometimes I'll go up all right so now we are gonna go under it this is not I'm not really putting any eyeshadow on so I'm just concealing just so I get that somewhat defined line I used my NARS concealer and I'm just gonna bring that right under Just to clean it up. I probably should get my brows waxed right now, but or have my sister do them. But I'm gonna work with what we got right now. Kind of just cleaned everything up. If there was any marks, if there were any marks, they're gone now. Quick. This is supposed to be quick. <laughs> So now we are going to move on to my lashes. So if I have lash extensions on, I would totally skip this part, but because I don't have any eyelash extensions on, um, I do have to add something. I have the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Sky High. Anxiety is real, guys. It really is. So I'm just giving my lashes a break. I am putting castor oil on it every night when I take off my makeup. Um, I'm over it. I'm like over <laughs> the anxiety part of it. You know, I realize that um, everybody has the first time jitters of being pregnant and thinking you're going to be great or what you're doing or I've watched so many videos of all sorts of things and it's like oh my god I gotta get this I'm not ready I'm not I don't have that and I'm just gonna trust that I'm gonna be fine and God told me to so <laughs> I take this little Ardell foam ink like wispy one and I cut it so I literally only just add like the tiniest bits on the ends I get equal parts so you have to get a lash that doesn't like wing out at the end otherwise you'll go through two lashes but I cut off the ends of it let me show you what I mean. See how these two ends kind of match? Well, if I flipped it like this. So those are the two ends of it, and this is actually the middle. Oops. So while that gets tacky, I'm gonna move on to the contouring part of my face. So we go in with the Fenty Beauty Mocha, what is this called? Matchstick. 
And I'm just going to con uh, cream contour the areas I obviously didn't put powder on. Well, I tried to avoid at least. I like to give myself a high cheekbone. Because right now we're avoiding Botox and filler. That's how do you know that's funny. Botox. And then I still take my damp beauty blender and we're gonna blend all those areas in. People say, oh my god, you can totally tell you're pregnant but not by your looks, by your face. What does that mean? <laughs> do I have a fat face? Because I don't see a glow. If you're talking about a glow, it means you're oily. <laughs> you're oily. I don't know what the glow is. So my camera died. And that's so I already blended in all of my um, contour stick. So now I'm going to set it. I'm going to first go in with my Marc Jacobs Tantric Bronzer. On this Morphe M143 brush. And I'm just going to go over all of those areas that I did that cream contour in. Forehead. I'm not really going anywhere special. I'm going to the grocery store. I have to pick up some last minute things to cook for. Our, we have like a little Game of Thrones watch party thing at my house. I love Game of Thrones. How do you guys feel about this house of dragons it's gonna be episode three i don't know when i'm posting this but it's gonna be episode three and it's gonna be crazy so i'm going over my nose contour and this is like a little brush i got from i don't know one of those like drugstore things and then i needed a brush and i've just used it ever since just snatch that nose And I'll kind of bring it in to my brow. So I probably had to reapply glue already to my um, lashes that I'm about to put on. But I have to dust off all of this powder first. And then I will apply br brush, blush, and highlighter after. I kind of work it into this bronzer I have so I have like that flawless finish so I'm gonna put the first one at the end I told you guys I don't have lashes like real ones but I'm trying to grow them out and be a good little girl good little lash artist I tell you guys not to pull, to pick but Add more glue. This one. This is why you get eyelash extensions, guys, because this is messy, it's a hassle. Who wants to do this? Not I. Not not I. One's on. See how it just brings out your face? Like, come on. When you want something to go fast, it, it never happens. This is going to be like a 30 minute video. The next one. Again, these are only added to the ends of your lash. I mean, you could do your whole eye if you wanted to, but what's the point? Especially if you're just doing like a little flare, you know, like that. So now we are going to go in with the blush. So I use the California Benefit blush. And I just go on my apples with my, are these apples? The highest part of my cheekbone, how about that? And it has a little shimmer to it, look in the sun. It just like... Blends the contour to the highlight. Sometimes I'll put it on my forehead, on my nose. Sunkissed, sunkissed look. Right now I'm gonna go in with a Dior 
Skin Shimmer Powder, 0 0.02. It actually has like all these colors in it, but I like to stay in the middle range. So I'm gonna take this fan brush, just go in the middle, and then just again go over the top of that blush. Down my nose, over my lip. All right, y'all, I learned my lesson. Um, I'm going to have a full charged battery every time I start a YouTube video. So I'm just gonna jump in on my iPhone or so. We're gonna line my lips now. And I'm using the NYX uh, Matte Liner in Cold Brew. I always do the top first. And then bringing it around. I will take my concealer brush that I used to go under my um, eyebrows and just clean this up. Y'all, I'm so sorry because now the sun is in my eyes, I know. But you kind of get the gist. I think you guys can kind of understand well i'm gonna use the jeffree star i love this mannequin um, velour liquid lipstick just the tiniest bit i love a matte lip it's done i think i'm done geez at this point i don't even know anymore oh i use the nyx um matte finish setting spray finished with my smell goods right now i'm mixing i'm a mixer i told you um, the Carolina Herrera and the Mason Francis, I don't know how to say his last name, but Gentle Fluidity. So I'll do like two sprays of that, and then I'll do like one spray of that. Mmm, yum. Like vanilla-y warm. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. This is the final product. A little glow, a little lash. I enjoyed this. Um, I hope you love these videos. If you want to see more of these videos, please let me know. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on IG. I have my business page, Lux Beauty Skincare. My business storefront, Luxury Beauty Tampa, TPA. And my personal Luxury Low. So please follow all my Instagram handles to keep up with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Okay, Mom, I'm filming my intro to my youtube video so i will call you right back but yes three to six months okay Good but deal. i still could keep i still should keep this for when he comes home right mom i'm not putting that when he comes home he's gonna have a better outfit he's not gonna be a giraffe on his way home